So here's a look finally at the outside of the car. It just has the one side door with the very tinted window, which is awesome. And yeah. Can't see through. Well, a little bit. Okay, it's really sunny right now. Yeah, it's pretty but cool. Hopefully you can't see it. Um, got a solar panel on top up there. So really, other than that, that's really the only thing that gives us away, I suppose, is a camper car. We do have that little side panel there for plugging it in, in places like this, you know, where there is somewhere to plug it in, but we're not actually using it because we don't need to since the solar panel is good enough for us. And you can open up the back, regular doors, and take a look inside. It's a little bit messy. A bit messy right now. But Got everything we need in it. It's pretty big. So on this side, it's just closed up, nothing really. And that's it, there she is. So a lot of people ask us where we go to shower and stuff. And sometimes we go to places that we find on the app that are pretty awesome. Like for example, this place, which actually you can see from there has water and electricity for free. And there's also a bathroom with showers in it and it's super clean and super nice, well maintained. And I'll show you this parking lot. Just a small place for their uh, motor homes. It's pretty nice and it's free. So we're trying to get to the climbing area right now. We're not sure where it is, but it took us up here. Which is pretty sweet. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna go find the climbing spot now. We are in Co Kopi? I don't Kulp? know. Kopi? Kopi? Kop? I don't know, on the eastern side of Spain. We uh, drove in yesterday, looked up some climbing, and apparently there's a climbing wall here. So, climbing today, did our first climb, and look at this view. Pretty awesome faces here. So we're gonna go and try to hike up that 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 monstrosity in front of us. Oh, and this is the parking lot, I guess. Not look good. <laughs> wow, this looks so bad. Why'd you park down there? Oh. That was not good. Oh, Phil. I feel like something broke. So, it looks like we are here. And we gotta hike, 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 all the way to here. Doesn't say how long the hike is. We did it all. We went bing, and then we went back and all the way up here, and we came all the way back down. And now we're here. It's 10:30 at night right now, and we just arrived at south of uh, Barcelona. We're trying to find a parking spot to sleep right now. We just went to this place, literally right behind the airport. And according to Park the Park for Night app. There are a lot of reviews saying you can park there overnight, but the last comment was like back in August 2017, and we noticed like a no camping sign up, and there's like no cars there, so we're leaving right now. Uh, I gotta go find another spot. So right over there is the airport. People did say that spot 
was kind of loud just because there'd be flights coming in and out pretty much until one in the morning. The place we're going is supposed to be a park basically on the other side of the airport, so I don't, I think we'll still have to deal with the noise anyway. So it looks like this is the park. It is labeled on the map as having free parking. Looks like there's still people in this park playing football, which is cool. There's RV one RV down there. <laughs> Let's go hang out with the RV. One lone RV. We shall join you, Mr. RV. I think we found the place to spend the night here. It's pretty close to the park. It's uh, one of the side street right next to the park. It's bright, it's quiet. Uh, I just walked around to see if there's any parking restriction signs. There's none. I think we'll spend the night here. Um, there's some people playing, still playing football over there, so. Looks good. So, just realized, maybe it won't be such a quiet street. Buses drive by here quite often, and the airport is actually right behind us, so it'll be a pretty, maybe a noisy night, but I think Vanessa and I are pretty deep sleepers, so. And we've done this for this van life thing for a while now so probably won't bother us that much anyways we're glad we found a place that we feel safe and we should have a good night sleep we'll update you guys in the morning yep there goes the bus morning guys so it worked out pretty well last night it was pretty safe just a residential uh, area and, uh, it worked out Yay, city stealth camp. We are in the Marquette, the Katarina. We sat down to eat something at this little place. And Phil broke his phone. Pretty sad. It's all smashed up in here. This is what I got. Foie gras, the beans, and the uh, sausage. guys at the gym told us to stop by here we had actually no idea what there is here so we parked somewhere really far away and we're like this place doesn't seem that impressive and then we started walking down the river and now it's like it's pretty cool actually pretty it's nice pretty nice place <laughs> Some of these fancy chocolate when we're in uh, Barcelona. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. They got a fancy label on it. It's from one of the old wealthy families that lived in Barcelona. Yeah. Whose house was designed by one of the famous. I can't remember his name. I don't know. <laughs> but making some hot chocolate. Got some skin milk at the supermarket today. And it tells me to put 25 grams, which is one block of chocolate. So, hopefully it melts. It's a pretty big piece of chocolate. I'm melting a little bit. Ta-da! Mm. Yes! Success! <laughs> mm. Delicious. 
very creamy, very milky, since I put milk on it. <laughs> 